All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at ultramarine terminators. So this video, I'm going to show you at four times speed, show you uh, basically doing each step of one of the guys uh, as we go through. So um, it's using the same painting techniques as the rest of my ultramarines. Uh, you can check out those other videos on my channel. So right now, what I'm doing here is uh, just putting the blue wash over top of the blue uh, Army Painter ultramarine blue base coat. So the idea there is I'm just uh, getting all the, the shades in there and uh, the Army Painter Blue just gets that a nice even base coat on really quickly and uh, gets me off to the races. So it uh, means I have to do a little bit more painting on the bases because uh, they're all crazy colors, uh, well, blue in this case. Um, but uh, the, the base coating the, the rest of the model really speeds up the whole process and makes it pretty straightforward. Okay, so I'm just uh, doing my silver base coats there with lead belcher, um, getting all the, uh, the bolter, uh, any of the, the tubing on the arms there, the back vents on the suit, um, and uh, not a whole lot else. The uh, assault cannon obviously has a bit bigger part that's silver, and the sergeant is going to have um, a silver power sword. I'm not going to bother doing that, anything too fancy, not for these guys. Oh, painting the uh, little stuff on the uh, little targeter thing on his shoulder, as well as the things on the his mouth plate. Okay, so I'm doing uh, gray for the uh, crux terminus on his shoulder, which is going to be like a stone gray sort of a color. And so just giving it a medium gray base coat. It's kind of a dark medium gray, I guess it is. And... Um, yeah, not a lot of uh, special techniques on these guys. Uh, black is going on the bolter here. And uh, it just takes a little bit more effort to get that exact in there. So now, now that I'm painting other colors, I don't want to paint over top of any of the silver uh, or get on anything else that I've already painted. So uh, I like to do most of my base coats at the, at the beginning. i um, doing gold base coat now. And uh, that's basically just the uh, eagle on the chest, as well as some of the details on shin pads. Um, not a lot of that. Uh, I like to do all my base coats at once. Um, it allows me to see what the whole model is going to look like, make sure that I haven't missed any parts. And then when I do the washes, it kind of covers up any of the areas that I might have messed up with each other. Many of the washes are similar, like black and, and uh, Agrax Earthshade can, can I almost be interchanged in many cases so if you get a little bit on some another area it doesn't really matter at all and uh, yeah doing all the washes at once uh, or in close succession just helps the whole process and then uh, from then on it's just building up highlights and if alternating between colors whenever possible um, that allows me to uh, to just ensure that uh, if I paint over uh, the line in some area then I can fix it up with a highlight in the other area so it's doing uh, the gray uh, helmets, I missed that when I did the shoulder pads, and doing a little bit of flesh on the sergeant's face. So I think that's all of my base colors. So, uh, you know, some any cloth, uh, I did a little bit of red there. Now I'm doing Newland oil wash on all these silver bits, and uh, as well the shoulder pad there. So that'll just take a little bit on this guy, because he's got a bit more silver than the rest of them. So uh, washes, I like to put them on fairly thick, make sure that they pool nicely in all the cracks. And uh, once they're dry, that's when I start doing all the highlights. So yeah, pretty straightforward with this. And uh, doing five of these guys isn't too much uh, difficult, uh, too much, it doesn't give me too much difficulty. Um, doing squads of 10 or more guys can, can get a little bit tedious at times, but uh, less than 10, I find a lot more manageable. Okay, so doing uh, the Agrax Earthshade wash there, and now I'm doing some of the blue highlights, so I'm painting the main color blue all over everything again, uh, and just avoiding any of the shadows. So that just gives me a nice even base color to work up from. That'll take a little bit longer than, than some things. People like to paint the, um, the wash right into the cracks, uh, and then they can avoid this step. I find 
I think that the doing it this way is a bit faster. I mean, it's arguable which way it ends up working better. Um, I could spend a lot more time doing the wash and then not have to do this, or I could do this pretty quickly. So it's up to you how you like to do that. Um, some people like just to build up from a really dark color and not have to do the wash. Um, lots of different ways of doing the same thing and getting very, very similar results. It just kind of depends on what kind of workflow you prefer. Okay, so I'm using some of the, uh, the Skaven Blight um, to highlight up the shoulder pad. And the idea there is that it's a bit of a dirty brown and storm vermin fur to do that. I do end up doing a Dawnstone highlight as well because I didn't think it was quite light enough. And that's not really sure. Okay, so now I'm doing the uh, white, well, gray highlights on the, uh, the helmets. And this one here actually takes quite a while. Um, mostly because I'm trying to avoid the cracks. And uh, because it's such a light color, it's going to be very noticeable. Being the head, it's going to be a focal point. So just trying to make sure that I get all the blending as, as nice as I can. There's quite a big jump from that color uh, from the previous gray, so uh, you kind of have to blend a little bit more with that. Doing some of the uh, Ishabti on the uh, any of the, the purity seals. Uh, Dark Reaper now going on the Bolter um, black highlight, and uh, there'll be one more highlight on there. You could use uh, Space Wolf grays as well; they look nice, but I chose to use these ones. So then Storm uh, Thunderhawk blue for the uh, other highlight. The chain sword guy here, he's got uh, a little black on that. Uh, you may notice the, these terminators are mostly assault on black reach terminators, but I do have a couple other bits mixed in um, just to make them a bit more usable in the game, one a chain sword and an assault cannon. Um, and so yeah, that's just mixed in. Okay, so now I'm doing my blue highlight, trying to edge highlight everything, doing uh, a bit more than just barely the edges, so trying to do a fair bit on there. And, but trying to keep it nice, even, and clean uh, so that uh, you know, on the bigger surfaces like the top of that there, that it looks reasonable. I'm not worried about getting every single highlight perfect, um, partly because, uh, you know, from the tabletop, you're not going to notice that um, as well. Uh, you know, parts of the model you're just never really going to see. You'll also notice that I've base coated the bases. I did that off camera. I'm using the uh, GW Texture Paint and then Steel Legion around the rim there. And that's just the same as the rest of my uh, Ultramarines army. I didn't bother showing that just because there's nothing to it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the whole idea there is just trying to push the paint and keep it off of the major parts of the boots. Okay, so you can see this step takes a little while. Um, some people may want to do it better than I do. Uh, it's a fairly minor step uh, in the whole thing, but uh, adds a lot to the highlighting. Using Terminus Stone to dry brush the texture on the base. And uh, okay, now I'm highlighting up the silver bits there. So using Iron Breaker, uh, just trying to get the edge highlights to bring those out a bit. I don't bother highlighting anymore with this, uh, with the silver. You could go right up to the, the light. Well, you could even go up to the Necron, but that doesn't, not really any point in doing dry brushing for such small silver bits, because you're just gonna get it on everything else in the model. So yeah, a little bit of silver on the mask there, um, and uh, on the chain sword in this guy, and that uh, the tubing on the backs of the arms, as well as the vents on the backs of their torsos. Okay, now just highlighting up some of the gold. Uh, not a lot of gold on these guys, just uh, on that guy's shin pad there. Well, a little bit on their chest, the big eagle wings. And yeah, this helps just brighten up. I don't, again, I don't typically do a lot of uh, the second highlights with metallics. I don't find that it adds a lot to the end result. And uh, for tabletop level, that doesn't really matter. Okay, just uh, highlighting up the sergeant's face here. Um, I did the uh, base coat and then just highlighting it up a little. Uh, again, not spending a ton of time worrying about all the exact details, just getting it to a nice tabletop level and uh, trying to get them done. And one more highlight with the lighter flesh color. And that's about it.
Okay, so now we're going to do the white. Uh, just So this is just edge highlighting on the helmet. So just making sure that I get all the sharpest edges um, with a pure white. And not terribly noticeable, but does help bring out the color a little bit more. And again, a final uh, edge highlight on all of the blues. So just doing this on the most prominent edges uh, with a really fine brush and really fine line. Just kind of running the, the edge of the brush along that edge to get the, the blue paint on there. And uh, not worried about getting every single thing. Again, just the ones that are going to be most noticeable um, from a little bit of a distance to uh, help bring out some of those, uh, those shapes. Okay, and there's uh, very little red on these guys, so I'm just going to do that highlight up a little bit uh, now. Uh, mostly uh, just the, uh, the eyes have a little bit. And uh, now using Wazdaka red on the, uh, the Talbird sort of stuff there. That's the same color I used for the cape on my Captain uh, from this Alton Blackreach set. And so just keeping that uh, one theme color sort of all the way through. Not a lot left uh, on the rest of the guys, though. <laughs> All right, getting into the home stretch. One more highlight on that red, just sort of edge highlighting here and there, just to help uh, help bring that out a bit more. And what do we got left? Oh, now we're going to do decal. So doing micro set on there first, putting a layer on, and then laying the decal on, making sure that it's in the right position, and uh, dabbing it a little bit, and then using a little bit of micro saw to help it conform to the shape. And that's it. So here's the guys all completed up. Um, yeah, not a lot uh, else to see here. If you want to check out my blog, uh, be sure to do that. There's some tutorials, other tutorials for Ultramarines and lots of other armies, um, as well as the paints that I used are all listed there, and they're in the other tutorials. It just didn't bother showing that on these. Hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.